Hello, David. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So welcome then to a new session. So let me share my screen and we can begin. Me escucha bien, teacher. Mm, yes, can you hear me? Ah, okay. Okay, sí, yes, yes. Okay. So let me share my screen. Okay, um, so in the first part, what we are going to do is only to listen, okay, to the information that we have in this video, and then we will continue by checking some more information. So let's check the video. Okay, so now that we check the information, let's move along with something else, okay? All right, so let's begin with this information, okay? So, David, can you help me reading the first example, please? Imperative sentence, order, bra. Bring, bring my, bring me another tea. Okay, excellent. So as you can see, this is an order. Okay, we are ordering to do something. Okay, um, Alejandra, are you in the class or just listen? Yes. In the class or just listen? The class. In the class. Okay, can you help me with the second example, please? Request, please help me with the boxes. Okay, so when we say please, okay, like do something, but please do it. Okay, um, David, can you help me with the other example? Advice, suggestion. Don't go, don't go there alone at night. Okay, and the other one, Alejandra? Moral duty, never abuse elderly. Okay, 
Perfect. Let's continue with more information. Um, let me see. What about this one, David? Can you help me? Number four. Instruction. Turn, turn left at the junction. Okay. And number five, Alejandra. Warning. Loud out. Look out. Okay. Excellent. So as you can see, in this information, we are giving orders, okay? We are providing advice or instruction, okay? Or you are requesting something, asking for something, okay? So that is how we use the imperative expressions, okay? Let's continue. Now. Here we have one specific example, okay? When we use the imperatives, we talk about what, Alejandra? Commands. Mm -hmm. And what is the structure that I have to follow? What is this? Bearing content. Very good. So here we have some specific examples that follow this rule. So number one, can you read it please? Turn the page. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Walk home. And number three. Study hard. Excellent. Okay. So now that we have identified all of the information, we know that they follow the structure. So we have the verb and the comp. Very good. And these are, of course, affirmative sentences. Okay. Can you give me another example, Alejandra, of an imperative? Sleep early. Okay. Any other? In affirmative. Drink water a lot. Okay. Excellent. So you get the idea. Let's continue. Now, David, can you help me with the other structure, please? Look at this. What is the structure? Imperative negative. Uh, do plus not plus bear plus complement. Excellent. Can you read the example number one, please? Don't, don't speak Spanish. The number two. Don't drink soda. Mm -hmm. And number three. Don't click on the link. Okay, perfect. So now that we identify the negatives, look at this. Only do not, just to make it negative. Then we have verb and complement, as in the previous example. Okay, can you give me another example for this, David, and a negative structure? Another. Mm -hmm. Don't eat pa pas Fast food. Okay. Another example, Alejandra. Don't sleep late. Excellent. Very good. So 
So is the idea clear for the affirmative and negative imperatives? Yes, it's clear. Yes, perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing here and I will share with you one specific information. Give me a second. Okay, you have the picture in the chat. And I will share one more. Okay, so the first picture that I send you is about medical advice. The second picture is about medicine. And I'm going to send the last picture that is related to medical specialties, okay? Because we will practice with this information. Okay, great. You have the three pictures in the chat. So now I will continue with something else. So let me go back. Okay, sorry, I was just moving this information. Okay, here we are. So here we have some problems, okay, physical problems. So we are going to start practicing with these specific problems. Um, you already know how to ask about uh, the different situations like what's the matter what's the problem and you know how to share your problems like i have a blister i have a stiff neck i have a runny nose etc okay so in the advice in the recommendation you are not going to say you should or you can okay no we are going to provide an imperative okay for example, if you tell me, teacher, I have a headache. So my advice would be take an aspirin, okay? No, you should take an aspirin or you can take an aspirin. No, take an aspirin, imperative, okay? So verb and complement, just that. Again, remember that in the chat, you have the different solutions for the problems. You have medicine, you have a specialist because probably if you tell me, teacher, I have a headache, then go to the neurologist, okay? So go to the specialist for the head, neurologist, okay? So another possibility, 
or the medicine, take an aspirin, or maybe a remedy, drink water, okay? One option, but let's use the imperative, okay? Is the idea clear for the exercise, Alejandra and David? Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So then, um, David, you are going to be the first person, describe your problem, and Alejandra, you will provide advice. Hi. Hi, Alejandra. I, I have a, I have a fever. Take a medicine. Thank you. But be more specific. You have vocabulary for medicine. So what is specifically, Alejandra? Mm, take a uh, acetaminophen. Okay, that would be. Now, Alejandra, you describe a problem. Um, si quiere, comienzo como preguntándole cómo está, o cómo se siente. Okay. Alejandra, how do you feel? Hi, I have a... Mm. Wait a moment. What? What's the matter? What is the problem? Um, I think she got disconnected. Maybe Alejandra, are you there? Yes, sorry. Oh, there she is. Um, okay. I have um a stomach ache. Stomach. stomach. Um, que puede ser? Um, you take a. Uh, um, Table spoon. No. Tablespoon of what? What? Oh, oh, antacid tablets. Okay. That could be anti acid. Is what is it? Antacid tablets. Yeah, that would work. Anti acid tablets. You take a. Uh, the teaspoon is when you say, for example, a teaspoon of cough syrup, for example or a tablespoon of cough syrup. Okay. So that is the, the utensil that you use. Okay. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to describe a problem for you and you tell me what is the advice, okay? So, Alejandra, I have an earache. No, I don't have No, no, I am telling you, I have an earache. What is your advice? Oh. So remember an earache. I have an earache. Take um uh, uh, 
A repost. A what? Um, reposo. Oh, rest. Rest. Okay, rest in bed. That could be a good option. David, what, what is your advice? I have an earache. I have a? Earache. Earache. Um, should, should take a, can I say, paraloid, <laughs> this, uh, um, Go to the ophthalmologist. Ah, uh, but the ophthalmologist is for the eyes. Otir otorrino lango Yeah, go ahead. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me see if we have the word here. I don't know if we have. Let's see. We have. Okay, we don't have it specifically like that, but you can say an ear especially. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. You can say it like that. You go. You go you or go? Go. Go to ear specialist. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Another problem. Um, let me see. Alejandra, I have a story. Sore throat. I cannot speak. Go to the doctor. But what doctor? <laughs> okay, that is a good option. Go to the doctor. What about you, David? I have a sore throat. Take a cough drops. No, cough syrup. Cough syrup? Or, okay. or, or, two, <laughs> or two options. Okay. Next one. I have a rash. Alejandra, what do I do? I have a rash. Go to the allergies. The allergies, okay. Anything else, David? Hey. Take the, the lotion or... Take or use? Use, uh, <laughs> use the lotion for okay. the, for the rush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A rush, excellent. A rush. Okay, um, now high bloody nose, bloody nose. There is blood in my nose. Is number 16. Bloody nose. So what do I do? Um. The 
No, pero es bloody. Bro. A blood in my nose. Bloody nose. Yeah. Que sería bueno. <laughs> in an aspirin, take an aspirin. An aspirin? I would die if I take an aspirin. <laughs> Remember that the aspirin makes the, the blood liquid, more liquid. So if I take an aspirin with blood in my nose, everything is going to come from it. Um, I don't is better option. <laughs> Okay, no more yeah. options. Take a rest in the good position. Okay, in a good position, definitely. Okay, Not nice. Let's right. take, take a NASA, NASA spray. Use. Use. Um, but the nasal spray is to open. When you cannot breathe, for example, when you have the flu, you use a nasal spray. Okay. So for the blood, I don't think it will work. <laughs> but it's a good recommendation. It's a good, a good one. Okay, and the last one. Um, what about if I have... A chest pain, okay? It hurts my pain, my chest. I have a pain in my chest. What do I do? It's the heart attack. Uh, not necessarily, just a pain in my chest. It just hurts. Use cream. Okay. Could cream work. or cream? Cream. For the for the pain. Okay. Maybe an ointment? Ointment, yeah. Because if you tell me cream, it is like the one that you use in the body. Cream. Cream the big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is annoying. Ah, okay. Big yeah. is annoying. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Alejandra? They can ask me. Okay, could work. If it is from the heart, maybe the aspirin can work. Okay, excellent. So this is what we are going to do right now, okay? You already have the vocabulary. You know about health problems. You know about solutions, okay? So I will send you to the rooms for 10 minutes only, no more, okay? And I want you to prepare a conversation in which you are talking about health problems and solutions. Talk about at least three different problems and I want you to use imperatives, can, and should to provide advice. So we can practice with the three different structures. Imperatives, take an aspirin. Should, you should take an aspirin. Can, you can take an aspirin, okay? Practice with the three structures. Talk about three different problems, health problems, and describe them. What is going on? What is the problem? Make the conversation. Is the idea clear for the activity? Yes, it's clear. All right. So then I will open the rooms right now. Give me a second. Okay, 10 minutes. If you finish before, let me know so I can bring you back.
Vamos So, a leer. in the imperative. Ah. Okay. Mm, you start. What? Ah, okay. Um, start me. Or you. You. Oh. You. Ah, okay. Uh, I have a... I feel not very well. I have a a fever. Oh, okay. Um, you can take a uh, medicine in this case, uh, acetaminophen. Um, in this case, you don't feel. Um, go to the hospital or doctor okay thank you Alejandro you too I I have a um, headache or oh, headache I yeah. don't feel good headache I don't feel good oh I'm sorry to hear that y yo bueno take a take a headache headache take a feel feel for the headache headache um You should a lot of a lot of rest. You can you can go to clinical med. Thanks. Only that. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Sería una ronda nada más. No, practice as much as possible. Ah, okay. Yeah, remember oh. that the idea is that you practice how to do it in a normal context. So practice ah, okay. as much as possible. Hi, Alejandra. I, I feel uh, terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I have a, I have the flu. The flu. The flu. Mm -hmm. You, you take a, uh, a cold syrup, and in this case, you don't feel. Um, you can go to the to the clinic, and you should uh drink of water a lot. Okay, thank you. Teacher, ¿cómo se diría, por ejemplo, tomaré en cuenta o o como para decir? Um, there are many different ways you can say, for example, um. I'll consider ah. your advice or recommendation. Mm -hmm. I'm typing it in the chat. So I'll consider your advice or I'll consider your recommendation. Or you can say, I'll take it into account. Okay. You tour, Alejandro. What is the problem? Okay, I I feel really bad, and I have a a 
I I don't remember the word. Teacher, how do you say dolor de muela? A uh, toothache. Toothache. Tooth from toothache. Tooth. Tooth. Can you repeat, please? Toothache. Toothache. Ache. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a toothache. Okay. Uh, you should go to a dentist. You can uh, you can visit the chemist. You can visit a, a chemist for the to for the medicine the medicine to take to take to take um take a and uh take tablets for the to take. Okay, my turn. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, I have a I have a the um, the chivers. Oh, but the uh, <laughs> I have a, I have a ear, ear, erakes, erakes, erakes. Do you have one earache, or I mean an earache, or the two ears and for you? Earache. Okay. Earache. Okay. Um, take a uh, uh, eardrops and you take a uh, you so should we... go to the mm. sorry sorry so if we talk about drops is take or use yes yeah. Use ear traps. You should go to the ear specialist. Um, okay. <laughs> I take it into account. The tool. What is the problem? I have um, um, uh, a earache or earache. Earache is the same. Yeah, David mentions earache. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a uh, Rosy nose. Rosy nose. Yep. Ah, okay. I take. No. You should. 
we should take cos zero. You should you can you can use nasal spray to yeah, uh, take a caps take capsule for the for the running now say thanks Okay, perfect. So we are going to stop here and we will go to the last part, okay? Okay. Okay, welcome back to the main session. So in the last part, we will just have a discussion related um, to a specific information, okay? So let me share again. Okay. Um. So when you go to the hospital or when you went to a clinic at some point, did the doctor give you any specific advice for the problem that you had? Alejandra? Yes. Okay, what did the doctor say? Um, I take a medicine and sleep a lot. And I should... Um, and I should rest. You should rest? Okay. And did you follow the advice? You did it? Or not really? Can you repeat, please? Did you follow the advice or not? What? Well, yes. Okay. Yes. What about you, David? Did a doctor any time gave you Medical advice? In my case. Mm -hmm. In my case, rarely visit the doctor. Okay. In, in occasion, in a special occasion. Special occasions, okay. Is uh, necessary. But when you went to the doctor, did the doctor give you any specific advice? Uh, for example, when when visit a dentist mm -hmm. in the in the doctor recommendation the doctor recommend recommended recommended the not eat uh, don't eat the candies Okay. Um, use a uh, pasta dental. ¿Cómo se? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Paste. The doctor recommended we use toothpaste. <laughs> okay. And did you follow the advice or not? Yes, I follow the advice. Okay, excellent. Is health. 
Eh, ¿Más saludable? Healthy. Healthy. Okay. It's healthy. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Now, from the information about the medicines, okay? Remember that I sent you a picture for medicines. What medicines do you have in your house? What medicines do you have? I have, uh, in my case, at home, use a uh, uh, cold syrup for the for the runny nose in the and fever and fever y también este pills tablet and capsules in capsule in my case okay what about you alejandra what do you have in my house we use a um, uh, uh, spirits and and we have um oh she or he has a headache and um the um ice drops and the nasal sprays vitamins um, the lotions and then okay excellent and from the medicines that we checked um and the ones that you have at home if you have a fever what do you take And... Me or... <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> David, what do you think? Uh, when I have a fever, mm -hmm. uh, take a, a cold tablet. Okay. What do you say? Um, cold syrup. For the symptom, for the symptom, 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 mm -hmm. in rarely occasion the tablet for the fever. Okay. What about you, Alejandra? What do you take? The same. I take um acetaminophen and. Mm -hmm. I take a a hara hara oh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and teaspoon. The what? Sorry. Teaspoon. Oh, the congestion. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now, what about if you have a headache? What do you take? Headache. Headache. Mm -hmm. Headache. Headache. Um, take a... Take a feel the headache. In this case, um, acetaminophen is the common. Is es como es 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 lo más común. The, the most common. The most common. Okay. Um or Cold tablets. Okay. Take cold tablets. <laughs> Sorry, excellent. And you, Alejandro? Uh, 
Same him sleep. Um, All right, very good. So I think we are going to stop then here the session. Thank you very much for coming. Remember that tomorrow is the last session. So we have the review of the five units tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for coming and I hope to see you in the last session. Take care. Thank you, good night. Thank you, take care. Bye.